Hey guys, today I'm so excited because I will be talking with you about how you can install Google Play Store to your Windows 11 device. Not only that, you can download any of your favorite application. For example, this Angry Bird I want to install. I can simply click on it and it will run just like a native Windows 11 app. So here we can see, here we go, we have installed it. And now I will just close it and will show you how it look like in Windows 11. Now here you can see just like other native Windows 11 apps, I can see these Android apps. Now let me just click on it, the angry bird and here we go. Here I can play this Android app directly in my Windows 11 device. Not only that, let's run few other apps. For example, this Instagram word search not only that you can install any android application to your windows 11 device hey there everyone my name is Pritam, and in this video we will be talking with you about how you can install google play store in your windows 11 device so without ado let's get started okay so before we start installing play store in windows 11 we will be talking about some prerequisite so the first prerequisite is you should enable your virtualization in order to check whether you have the virtualization setting enabled or not, just press Ctrl, Shift and Escape button. And what actually it will do, it will run the taskbar. Okay, so if your taskbar didn't appear by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape, then you can even click here on Windows button and just type taskbar. Now you can run it and just go to performance. And here, you know, you can see the virtualization. So in my case, it is enabled. And I would like to say in most of the system, it is already enabled by default. So even if your system is like five or six year old, expect virtualization setting is already enabled by default. If in case it is not enabled, then you can always turn off your system and turn on it. Then you can always change it by going to BIOS. In order to go to BIOS setting, what you require to do is just turn off your system and press the BIOS key. In most of the PC, the BIOS key button is delete. So keep pressing it until you enter in BIOS. Also, it may be possible for other manufacturers, the BIOS key might be different. For example, for Dell, it may be F2 instead of delete. Or what I will do, I will place the BIOS key button in the description of this video. And there you need to find, you know, virtualization, which should be in CPU setting. Similarly, in case of AMD powered system, you need to find SVM. That should be again under CPU setting. The another prerequisite is make sure that you have latest and updated Windows 11. The next thing we're going to do is just click here again on this Windows icon and type here turn Windows feature on and off. So here we can see this setting, just click on it and now what we need to do is just let's just expand it and you need to enable two settings which is virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform. Now click ok. Don't forget to connect your system to internet and after these features got downloaded from internet you need to reboot your system. So let me quickly reboot my system. A few moments later. Okay, so here is what you require to do is you need to open the browser just like I have opened. Now simply paste the path that I have provided you in the description of media file. Now hit enter. Here you will reach to this download page. Now simply download this file. Now here you can see the download has begun. Just wait for the download process to get ended. Now after downloading this file, what you need to do is simply extract it. I'm going to extract it all. Now after we can see this extracted folder, make a double click on it. Now you need to search for install and here we can see this install, which is a PowerShell script. We will simply make a right click and we will run it with PowerShell. Now let's say you see this kind of message in your system which says that running script is disabled in your system. Then uh, what you need to do is you need to enable the script. For that I will quickly show you the procedure how you can enable the script. Now what you need to do is press windows button. 
and now type powershell now run it as administrator you know just simply click on this arrow you can find it or else you can make a right click and can see this option now we're going to run powershell as administrator now simply copy and paste this code you can find this code in the description of this video now i will press enter and please make sure that you are running powershell as administrator then only you will able to make some changes you know now you need to do is you need to press a to accept all the changes and now just close it now again we will run this and this time again with powershell and here you can see the process of installation has begun now we will click on continue and here you can see we are about to install windows subsystem for android which is basically a necessary and mandatory part to run google apps okay finally here we can see the windows subsystem for android is asking us to sign up with google play now simply log in with your google account now here we can see the entire google play store inside our windows 11 now just find your favorite app for example uh, ludo simply click on install and here we can see we have successfully installed this application and in this way guys you can easily play with any app so this is the application that we have you know downloaded so let's say if you don't want to download from the link that i have provided you can always download it from github i will also place the github download link in the description of this video and now guys here you can see the android app that we have recently installed now the only thing that we need to do is just run the windows subsystem for android so just type here subsystem and here we go just click on it and now what we need to do is we need to select these option which is we need to make sure that we have this optional diagnostic data turned on and we need to turn this developer mode okay now click on allow access that's all now let's close it and after that here you can see the windows subsystem for android have started installing google play store now let's click back here on windows and search for play store and here we can see this play store is available now you can even pin it to the taskbar so that we do not need to go again and again to windows button so what I'm going to do is I will be clicking here this option which is pin to taskbar and here we go. Now every time whenever I want to access the play store I can simply click here and can visit play store. Now from here I can download my favorite application. Okay so that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye.